How to keep using Windows 7 safely after support ends. A lot of people are going to do it. We know that. In fact, a lot of people are still doing it with Windows XP. It can be done safely. It's just that you have to take some extra precautions and be a little extra, well, skeptical. How to keep using Windows 7 safely after support ends. Yes, it'll be possible to keep using Windows 7 after it's no longer supported. However, doing so safely will depend on you. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is AskLeo.com. Question. I want to keep using Windows 7, but support is ending. Am I screwed? No, you're not screwed. You may very well be able to keep using Windows 7 safely, just as a small number of people continue to use Windows XP to this day. You simply have to take responsibility for keeping yourself safe even more than before. Keeping Windows 7. The analogy I used in the previous version of this article for Windows XP was this. It's like keeping your old 1957 Chevy that still runs great. Sure, it's a simpler vehicle, but it has no seat belts, airbags, navigation system, backing up camera, anti-lock brakes, nor whatever else we take for granted on modern vehicles. Getting leaded gas or an equivalent is a bit of a problem, and driving the old girl requires a different skill set. For example, do you still remember how and why to pump your brakes? And of course, when something fails, you have a problem. You won't easily find a repair shop to help, not to mention replacement parts, and there certainly won't be any fixes or recalls. As long as you're willing to work around all that, you can certainly keep driving it until it fails beyond repair. Staying safe with Windows 7. To be honest, there's nothing really new or special you need to do to use Windows 7 beyond its support window, which ends, as of this writing, January 14th, 2020. You just need to pay more attention to the things you should be doing already. Keep your security software up to date. Keep all your other applications up to date. Be even more skeptical when it comes to downloads and emails. Keep doing all the things that allow us to use our computers and the internet safely with a little bit more attention than before. Diminishing support. Over time, more and more software vendors will stop supporting Windows 7. If that includes your security software, you'll need to find a replacement right away. Microsoft Security Essentials, my general recommendation, will keep working for some time independent of the Windows 7 cutoff date, but Microsoft won't support it forever. That's true for any security software you run. As long as it keeps supporting Windows 7, you can keep running it. The moment it doesn't, you'll need to find an alternative. Pragmatically, that's true for any software you run. At some point, Windows 7 support will be dropped, and you'll need to either find an alternative, stop using that software, or upgrade to a supported version of Windows. Outdated software as a security risk. The risk of using any unsupported software, but particularly an unsupported operating system, is this. At some point, a vulnerability will be discovered that will not be fixed. Malware will exploit that vulnerability. You'll then be relying only on your security tools and your own common sense to protect you. Depending on who you talk to, this is either almost certain doom or a complete non-issue. Naturally, I fall somewhere in between. As we've seen with Windows XP, predictions of catastrophe fail to materialize. As I said, there are folks happily and safely running it today. But there are also those who, faced with critical tools, favorite applications, and even hardware dropping support for the OS, have chosen to upgrade. The same will likely be true for Windows 7. Continuing to use it will eventually become more irritating than it's worth. Exactly how long it'll take for that to happen depends, of course, on you. Most important of all is that you take steps to stay safe and remain skeptical. For links related to this article or to leave a comment, visit askleo.com slash 84512. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.